Okay, so today's video is to show you how to remove the control unit for the Bluetooth display and be able to mount it to the upright that's over here to the side. So the first thing I wanna say is to notice, make sure that this is the correct box that you're using for your unit because in this scenario, this box is mounted underneath the fan while the old Bluetooth test station is still here. Okay, so after identifying which box is correct, you wanna make sure you remove the box from wherever it's mounted to currently, and you have to disconnect these two cables. Once the two cables are disconnected that are going up to your display unit up here, you're gonna to wanna to fish these guys around over to the side of the I-beam where you're going to mount the new control location. Okay, with the box disconnected from the wires and the wall, you're going to remove these four screws. With the four screws removed from this unit, you remove the cover and you're going to pull off the music icon button. Flip it around and mount it right back on. You then replace the cover and the four screws back into the unit. Okay. At this time, this is now ready to be placed onto the bracket. Along with your bracket, you've received a couple of screws that you're going to utilize to facing wires down mounting it to the bracket that'll be mounted onto the I-beam. With this, you're going to place it downward with the wires facing toward you and the two of the screws mounted up top, but we're gonna be supplying you four for the initial install for in-store. Line them up and screw them in. Once the screws are mounted on the back, you flip it around. This is exactly how the unit should look and it's ready for install. Now we're ready to mount the control box to the I-beam. At this point, you will need a zip tie relatively 10 to 12 inches long so that it can strap it to the I-beam. Place it over the beam and sending your zip tie through the beam out of the other side, reattach one end of the zip tie to the other and pull to tighten. Keep pulling until you can no longer tighten the zip tie. Right now we're ready to connect the wires back to the unit on the display. The wires are long enough to come down and go underneath the control box here and come out right through here. At this point, you reconnect your two wires to the matching wires that come down from the unit. Once reconnected and fastened securely, you place them right through the holes so the connectors cannot be seen by customers. At this point now, with everything connected and fastened securely to the beam, we can test the unit. First test the music, and then test volume up and volume down.